Hello everybody, it's Peter the Dog. It's still Tuesday the 2nd of April and it's still around about 5.45. I've moved a little bit down uh, towards the front of Dominique and ahead of me is the segment that we saw being lifted in the previous video. Now, um, I thought it was going to be stuck on the end of the existing uh, trackway over there with their two orange suited chaps uh, atop the blue cherry picker but now I revise my opinion and I think it's going to be slotted into this gap at this pier. What the pier number is I don't know maybe it's number 43 or something because um, they've done quite a few of them already and um, this is how it must work because they must build outwards from the piers. It's totally obvious now, come to think of it, if they just ex extended all the way from one pier to the next, it would be, uh, uh, the, the balance would be all wrong. It would uh, start to sort of, uh, it wouldn't be supported. So if you, but if you build out from the piers, this must be standard brick, well, uh, bridge building practice. Um, not that I'm not an engineer, I'm just sort of seeing for myself in live action how it works. Here comes um, a, a, a portable crane along the sort of roadway and I don't know what he's going to do and the blue cherry picker which had just had some people inside the bit of uh, trackway over there uh, is coming back down so there's quite a lot going on at the same time. What I expect to happen is, well, A, I'm going to get wet because it's raining. I hope my camera isn't, uh, hasn't got spots on it. Don't think it has. Uh, uh, that's uh, B, um, various little cranes and cherry pickers are going to move around and I might eventually work out why. But C, the main event, will be this concrete segment. And you can see from here that it's, it's, it's totally hollow. Um, uh, hopefully that'll move a little bit uh, further towards the gap that I think it's going to fit into at the, at the top of this pier on the right hand side. But to do that, it's got to turn through 90 degrees. So how the other... Uh, 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 cranes, and cherry pickers, whatever you call them, are going to help in that. I don't know. Um, uh, here comes a, a, a van, a lorry, going backwards. Maybe it's difficult to turn round. Uh, lots of people here. I think they're all as excited as I am, although they've done this dozens of times before. There are quite a lot of companies working on this project and uh, in, uh, in unison. Now, one thing I want to show you that I haven't really done so far is how the piers rather beautifully um, spread out across the lake. And here's a good view of them. And uh, you can't really see the curvature from here. Maybe you can sort of infer it, but as I've said in previous videos, the, um, the line of HS2 does curve to the north, to the northwest from the, from its alignment with the west by about, by my reckoning, about 40 degrees. Now this is interesting. Getting back to our, our segment, there's a duck by the way in front of me, completely unconcerned, not expecting any bre bread yet because the trains aren't, aren't ready. I, 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 don't want to get the duck too excited. And, um, oh well, oh, I think the bloke on the blue, I call it a cherry picker, it's probably, probably far more a uh, sophisticated name. Oh, I thought he was going to spin it round by hand uh, while, whilst playing a Kylie Minogue song. Spinning around, or is it turning around? I don't know. Um, I, that's all right, I'm not going to sing a Kylie Minogue song. 
But I mean, and that's another strange thing. On buildings, the building sites I've seen, there's often some music or noise going on, but not here. People are very serious about this. Um, so, ah, perhaps he's, perhaps the chap at the top of the blue thing, I call it a cherry picker, is going to be the one responsible for the glue. Well, I'm sure we'll see either in this video or the next one. Meanwhile, I think the segment to be inserted has been lowered a bit, which is a good sign. Um, it's underneath the control hut, <laughs> control, control tower. There's a lot of activity now, but how long would it take? Um, if, if the thing starts to turn, I think it might be starting to turn. I think it might be. I can't swear to it. I think, it, looking from above, I think they're going to turn it clockwise. But we'll see. It's actually got railings on it, already prepared, for when people get onto it, they don't fall. Yes, it is definitely turning. Isn't that exciting? It's, it's really turning. I can't, I can't believe here that, that I'm here at this, at this moment of history. Um, isn't this fantastic? It's, oh, it's, perhaps it's rocking a bit. Perhaps they're having second thoughts. I, I think I've read or heard that each segment has to be um, designed separately uh, because the actual curve, well, I don't know, you know, the curvature may not be uniform or something, but uh, they, um, they're all individually uh, designed and they all will have the, their place going into. So it is turning. It's already gone through about a 45 degree turn. Uh, we are seven minutes into this video. The chap on the blue uh, cherry picker keeps going up and down. I see, see no signs of glue, but there are lots of uh, orange suited chaps waiting for this bit of uh, the HS2 viaduct to uh, be ready to be slotted into place. So I won't waste your time. I'll, st I'll stop here and um, I'll, I'll start up again when there's a bit more bit more action. Uh, thanks a lot for watching so far. Speed of the Rockets, uh, 2nd of April, um, about half past five. Cheers. Like and subscribe.